Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. Today I would like to start by saying, thank you so very much to all of those that has subscribed to the Wackerash Gaming YouTube channel. I'm utterly excited as the channel has surpassed 3000 subscribers, oh my bananas. I really appreciate the support and encouraging messages that you've sent to me over the last six months. So to celebrate this amazing milestone, I'm going to give away three £10 equivalent Google or Apple gift cards to three different lucky subscribers. All you have to do is to make sure you have smashed the subscribe button to the Wackerash Gaming YouTube channel and leave a comment below with the words I've subscribed. This special giveaway will be open for a week until the end of day 25th of May 2022. After this day, I will contact three lucky subscribers to claim your rewards. So if you have not gone bananas on the subscribe button, now is that time. If you have already subscribed, then don't forget to leave a comment with the magical word, I've subscribed. Now, let's get back to the topic of this video. Are you still unsure about the hero appointment feature? Do you still have many questions about it? I want to thank to both Zaza from State 662 and the amazing Kratos team for their collaboration in making this video possible. This gorilla will start by saying that this feature is about having gorilla patience and discipline in order to maximize your rewards. Katsilla has done an amazing video to explain some frequently asked questions and I've added the link to his video in the description below for your viewing pleasure. There are more questions that are being asked, so let's go through these questions one by one. Which heroes should I use for hero assignment? 1. It does not matter which hero you put where. 2. It doesn't need to be a general rank, 3 stars, Colonel 1, and up, all will give the maximum starting bonus. 3. You can put blue, purple or gold heroes in hero assignment slots. How can you collect command manuals? 1. Rally 5 infected fiend per day. You can get on average 10 to 12 command manuals per day. 2. Flash duels event with the Colosseum, it is noted that this have not been released to a many states. 3. Duty calls event. 4. Dedication to duty event. 5. Hero appointment bundles. How can I get service badges? 1. Currently ongoing top-up event giving up to 27 badges for topping up to 300,000 bio caps. 2. Flash duels event with the Colosseum, it is noted that this have not been released to a many states. 3. Duty Calls Event, where you can get up to 5 badges. 4. Dedication to Duty Event, now I cannot see Day 4 and Day 5, but I suspect up to 5 badges can be obtained. 5. Hero Appointment Bundles with the last 2 bundles providing 3 service badges. I'm a rally leader, what upgrade path should I do? Upgrade priority will be 1. Flag Bearer then. 2. Armchair Strategist in Week 1 and Week 2. It is costly to unlock Vanguard any earlier with service badges. I'm a rally joiner, what upgrade path should I do? Upgrade priority will be 1, armchair strategist then. 2, flag bearer in week 1 and week 2. I would also add, as a defensive measure prioritizing infantry attacker defense could also be better, rather than equal build. It is costly to unlock Vanguard any earlier with service badges. How long will I need to wait for all the slots to be unlocked? When the hero appointment feature is released, on Monday the 16th of May to all states, it takes 24 hours for the first flag bearer slot to be open. From this table below, you can get an idea of how long it will take the slots to unlock without spending any service badges. This means it will take 14 days from the 16th of May for the Vanguard infantry slot to become available, this being the 30th of May. This also means it will take roughly 33 days from the 16th of May for all the positions in the hero appointment being made available without the need to spend any service badges. Does the cost get lower to unlock the hero appointment position with each day? No, the cost stays the same. So for example, the timer on Tuesday for unlocking the flag bearer position slot was 2 days, and the cost to unlock this instantly was 2 service badges. 24 hours later, and the cost is still the same, so this acts as a natural barrier to unlock the position slots fast. What is the cost to max hero assignment? The answer here would be 8,955 command manuals and 117 service badges. What are max stats from hero assignment for rally leader? This will be in total 150% attack, 150% defense, 12% health each for infantry, rider and hunter. 12% lethality each for infantry rider and hunter. And last but not least 13.5% extra damage in rallies each for infantry, rider and hunter. That's all folks, thanks for watching.
If you like my videos, please do go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bells for more amazing videos.